from Dallas, Texas. Find us online at photoboothinternational.com. Hey guys, it's Josh here with Photo Group International, and today I'm happy to be here with Edward Aguiano. Is that right? That's it. I got it right. All right, cool. So Edward's one of our customers. How long uh, ago did you buy your photo booth? Let's see. Coming in March of this year, it'll be about a year. About a year. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, and so, uh, so yeah, welcome. Uh, thanks for doing this interview with us. We like to interview our customers and do a follow-up, see how things are going. And uh, you've been really active and supportive of our company and inside our private Facebook group. And so I wanted to hop on a call with you, see how things were going. Uh, so tell us a little bit about uh, your name, your, your company name, where you are located, what services you provide, your website. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, absolutely. First of all, Josh, thanks, man, for the opportunity. Um, you know, you and I were talking earlier about, you know, uh, what photo booth, you know, was the best photo booth for me. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I started doing my research and stuff. And, uh, man, it all just boiled down to the feedback that I saw, honestly, on a photo booth international. Um, you know, I, I had been doing research for a long time, like I said, but, you know, one key thing that I found out about, about you guys was that support, right. And the guidance, um, and also, you know, just the quality and, and the patience, to be honest with you, Josh, that you had with me at the beginning. I know, I, I know, man, that I asked you a lot of questions, you know, and you're like, come on, man, you know, you're a geek guy, so you should know this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, um, you know, we started about a year, about a year ago. Um, our company name is Treasure of Smiles Photo Booth, uh, which is www.treasureofsmiles.com. Uh, we're located um, in between, well, closer to Austin, but we're in between San Antonio and Austin. We live. Uh, our home office is based out of a little town called Kyle, mm. and man, we've just been you know, just been busy now and, um, you know, just hitting the market. Um, our biggest clientele right now are weddings, you know, is our weddings. And, uh, you know, I've tried everything in terms of marketing techniques and whatnot, but, um, to be honest with you, it's just been the word of mouth and, and the guidance from you guys, man. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you for that. Um, so you, you're still working a job or are you doing this full time? I am. I have a okay. full time job, and then I do this on the side. Okay. Um. What 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 do you do for your full time job? Yeah, I I no. work in the industry. I've uh, been That's doing right. that for about wow, going on sixteen years now, and uh, I like it. But you know, man, I just you know, uh, mm -hmm. honestly, there's this involves the family, you right. know, involves my, my daughter, and uh, so it's just I. To be honest with you, I do all the setup stuff. She's the one that mans the booth. She runs nice. the booth. And she has fun doing it, man. She has a great mm -hmm. time doing it. Uh, my little boys, I have two little boys. Um, you know, they're the ones that clean the props. You know, they like doing that kind of stuff. It's weird, but hey, man, they like doing that kind of stuff. Right. They are like loading up the truck, you know, and then my wife's in the background. She handles all, you know, the finances and all the custom things that we do. Um, you know, there's a lot of customization that we've implemented into our business that's helped us tremendously mm -hmm. um we didn't to be honest with you we didn't get into that until about maybe six months ago which which has really really improved our business nice yeah that's what it's about just being unique and providing that uh uh a different service than than somebody else uh the competitors so um so you're doing this part-time family but it's funny you say that because uh, another interview that i did you know he He's Sus Checo, you know, he's talking about his, you know, his family, him and his brother got a lot closer and like different things uh, come out of, you know, just starting a business that you don't actually think about, you know, for me, it's like making friends and meeting people like you. And, you know, it's like, we're, you know, we're not too far from each other. And, you know, just, it's awesome. You don't get to think about all of that and so much opportunity will come from it, you know? I agree, um, man. So yeah, so I got some questions here, so I'm just gonna just ask them and just kind of share your you know experience and stuff. So, um, how has your overall experience been with Photo Booth International? It has been fantastic. Um, I'm just not saying that. Um, it's something that we had been striving for, 
um, in terms of a, of a relationship of a provider, um, mm -hmm. because that also then follows into our business, mm -hmm. right? Uh, which means a lot because if one of my, well, not if, but it has happened to me, one of our uh, guests at a wedding uh, said, hey, you know, where did, where did you buy the, you know, the photo booth, yada, yada, yada. And I really didn't want to get into it. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to work. <laughs> you know? And uh, I just said PBI. And they said, they said PBI, and, uh, are you talking about like uh, Josh and team? And I said, yeah. Oh my they're like, God. hey, guys, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, yeah, jo yeah, I mean, yeah, Josh and I, yeah, we yeah. can. I'm doing stuff. Like, oh, really? Oh, that's a good guy. But, and I was like, Okay, yeah, man, whatever, that's cool. <laughs> it, it just threw me off. It just threw me off. But, uh, but, you know, that, again, you know, that's knowing that, right, that they have already spoken to you guys mm -hmm. and receiving the customer service, you know, uh, the epic customer service that we provide as well. It right. goes both ways. You see what I'm right. saying? It, yeah. it, goes, it talks, it speaks very highly about you guys and it speaks highly about us. And then it just, you know, it becomes a, a great conversation, man. And, 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 you know, good things come out of those types of conversations. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, the guy was looking to like buy a photo booth or you didn't tell me that story. That's a good story. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, honestly, I don't really know what, mm -hmm. what his intentions were or what not. <laughs> I mean, you know, for those of you that, that understand, when you're in bed, it's just like, you know. Yeah, it's crazy. Just, boom, yeah. Boom. Especially at the Quintes and the weddings and stuff crazy so i was like what and so my daughter's looking at me and she's like what was that a no idea <laughs> <laughs> just smile and wave <laughs> yeah. so um how soon did you start booking events um and making money from the time you got your photo booth? did you book before you bought i can't remember no no uh to be honest with you josh what i did is i studied i studied dark room um, mm. and then, uh, social booth as well. I, I studied social booth less than when I did dark room. And the reason for that, Josh, is because I wanted to make sure, man, that when I got my booth, uh, I knew exactly what I was getting myself into in terms of software. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, then I started, uh, listening to you guys, you know, I remember you telling me, Hey, Edward, you know, I'm gonna give you access to our uh, PBI university, uh, watch the videos, how to set things up. Um, because I wanted to make sure that when I got my system that I was able and ready to rock and roll. And, um, you know, I set up my first night. I, I still remember uh, the day that we went over to pick, to pick up our photo booth. And uh, on our way back, you know, we were already making plans. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do that? I was like, hey, guys, slow down. Let me see if I can turn this thing on first. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, um, you know, af after that, man, it took me about, Man, maybe two or three weeks after that, I just, you know, I just put it up on my, on my uh, Facebook and said, Hey, you know, our, our family joined a new business. You know, we, we, you know, we have a new business, um, you know, check us out. That's all I said. Uh, I got booked. Mm -hmm. um, and after that, uh, it was just the, uh, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, of a snowball effect. You know, a little bitty snowball that that starts up, and then when it's going down the mountain, it just gets right. bigger. And bigger. Right. that's how it's been for us. And uh, honestly, man, it's just word of mouth, um, and also you know, just letting people know, you know, who we are and uh, that network. Network. Oh man, that's that's a whole different topic, you know. Mm -hmm. but, but yeah, that's how we started. Let, let's touch on that topic real quick. But like, what what tips do you have for someone that, like about networking? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember a particular day sitting down in my office and I told my wife, I said, you know what, I'm going to reach out to, I'm, I'm going to do a search on Google and I'm going to reach out to all the close venues to me. And I'm just going to call them. Literally, this is what I said, guys. I said, hey, my name is Edward. I'm uh, the proud owner of Treasure of Smiles right here in Kyle, Texas. And I'd like to go meet you and put some information into your hands. How does tomorrow sound? Oh, great. Yeah, sure. Yes. Tomorrow. Perfect. And I was yeah. like, all right. You know, so I kept doing that. I did that for, man, maybe eight venues close to here. Out of those, I've already done um, four open houses. 
mm-hmm. free offices. A lot of get a, a lot of people they get scared when they hear, "Oh, I'm going to do a free event." So, so mm-hmm. very listen very, very carefully on what, what I'm going to say here. So, four free events, but they were open houses to about 150 to 200 uh, brides. Mm-hmm. Out of four open houses, that's where the contracts start coming in. Right. Those people don't think, you know. Mm-hmm. So what I did, Josh, is I didn't take any, I didn't take any contracts. Um, I didn't, I, you know, I didn't say, Hey, you know, we have this special going on, blah, blah, blah. I, I didn't say anything like that. All I did was, why don't you come in and check out our photo booth? We have some nice props going on, you know, check out the quality, you know, check out the quality of the images. And, Oh, by the way, our booth, you know, does gifts, it does social media. And so I just started, you know, explaining, not selling, mm-hmm. but ex- what our photo booth does from there man the bride are just like oh this is so cool i want this at you know at our wedding i said oh absolutely yeah i mean you know it's just mm. talking right that customer right. service hey i think i think this uh, uh our system would fit in any decor whatever your uh, whatever your decor may be it'll fit right in and uh man that's where we started you mm. know and brides were just like okay yeah you know where do we sign i mean i i remember <laughs> I remember uh, this one bride. I was trying to tell her everything that that what we offered. She goes, "Okay, stop talking." Oh my I'm god, ready to, I'm ready to sign. You Closing past this close. <laughs> you gotta get the sale. You gotta get the sale. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and my daughter's looking at me like, "Stop talking. Sign the contract." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean. And, you know, the whole networking and, um, you know, don't, don't be scared to pick up the phone, you know, people are scared. That's one thing, you know, and, and another thing, Josh, that I did was I started calling the local businesses, uh, Kyle, it's, it's, it's still a growing, a growing town. And Mm -hmm. so I want to call local businesses and we got into several local businesses, man. And, and right there, we did offer a free service. However, um, you know, the contracts that came out of there, the relationships, you know, you and I were talking about relationships earlier, and that speaks volume because now I have comments, right, um, and reviews from those big companies mm-hmm. that we did wow. the event. And some people may think, well, you know what, a review, eh, whatsoever, you know, that's, that's, that's whatever. But that's big. That's huge mm-hmm. because that's when you start landing those big, massive contracts right. because they see the reviews of other corporations that you've dealt with and it, right. it's a by itself. Exactly. You know? Exactly. We need to, are we doing your website or are you doing it? I did my website. Okay. Yeah. Did you put those logos on there? I, uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Make sure That's to, uh, yeah, make a, make a, make a, make a tab for like private events and then have another tab for corporate events. Um, uh, and then put, put those corporate events on there. That's the, that's the trick to that. Cause there are there are corporations that are searching and you know when they hit your website you don't want them to just be like oh it's just a small mom and pop shop you know if you have that corporate tab then oh boom okay we, this is a reliable person we can count on them and they can also fulfill the order you know that that's what that's what they're thinking like as a corporation um whoops looks like i lost you still there can you hear me yep i'm here okay yep. cool yeah as a corporation like when we used to get booked you know they would call us and then, you know, they, they, from their end, they're checking to see like, okay, is this the real business? Because obviously, you know, for our type of industry, it's still new, it's still coming up, uh, up. And so there are people operating from their houses and stuff like that. So, you know, for some of our clients that we work with, like Capital One and Fossil and Coca-Cola, you know, we can't tell them like, oh yeah, you know, you can come to check out the photo booths in my garage, you know, that kind of stuff. So it's important to portray that to them yeah. that like, Hey, we can handle it, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, make sure to, to do that. Um, and display that beat, you know, like you said, you're proud of it. Um, and I love that you're picking up the phone, man. I mean, the first thing that I ask, you know, is people tell me like, Oh, we don't, we can't get business or whatever. Like, have you picked up the phone? The, I tell you what, so, um, they, the SBDC small business development center, which is in every city and state across the U S you can go there and get a representative and that representative can pull a list for you of everybody with a certain business code. So all venues are uh, categorized under the certain business code. I think it's mm-hmm. called a NACE code. And so you give them that code and he can run a list for you. 
and uh, it'll pull all the, the phone numbers, the contact information, mailing address, the key person, all that stuff. And then you have your list and then just pick up the phone. So we used to do that for, for so, you know, Dallas, Fort Worth. So we had a list. It's about a thousand schools, the schools. Yeah. And so we would call every school because, you know, we got people sitting in the office, you know, during the week, there's not too much going on, at, you know, once the bookings and stuff are taken care of. So I was like, hey, here's the list, pick up, call the school, tell them what we do, ask them how we can get in there, ask them how we can get, a, you know, an approved vendor. And that's how we built up. And I mean, once you get into one school, I mean, the school bookings, you know, just came. But it all starts with just picking up the phone. You know, you can't just send an email or tweet or Facebook message or stuff like that. You got to, there's no way around it. There's no way around it. I mean, when, how fast did I call you when you, when your lead came through? Do you, I don't know if you remember. Within I, I, yeah, I remember. Like, yeah. okay. It's Josh. Hey, Josh, how's it going? <laughs> I've been watching your videos, man. It's so nice to speak to you. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I mean, there's no way around it. There's no way around picking up the phone. That's still the best best thing to do. Um, so I'm glad you're doing that. And, and it's just going to – it's paying off. It's paying off, you know. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, Josh, you know, just to piggyback on what you're saying, man, um, you know, it's 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 vital – to your business mm -hmm. because you know you just never know and 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 again i mean how many no's are you going to get a few you know how many yeses are you going to get well you don't know until you try it right mm -hmm. but then when you get it you never know if you're going to land you know a um a two thousand dollar event you don't mm -hmm. know if you're going to five hundred dollar you know five hundred dollar event you don't know what you're going to land but you have to try mm -hmm. um because nobody's going to know that you're out there Mm -hmm. And you know, the word of mouth, man, now it's that, that's, what's big, you know, it's that word of mouth and, mm -hmm. and getting to know the people around you. Because, uh, I remember one time, uh, I reached out to, um, this business and they're like, Hey, well, you know, we think, you know, we think that, you know, your system is fabulous. Uh, you know, we just really can't use your services. I said, no, I'm, I totally understand. The crazy thing is, is that like, I, don't, I don't remember how far apart the timing was, but and then we got another call from from the same person and say, hey, um, you know, we'd like to have you out at, you know, the rail house here, here in Kyle. And I was, he's like, hey, so do you know so-and-so? And I was like, yeah, I spoke to that person about two months ago. They're like, okay, yeah. So they reached out to us and they said that, you know, you'd make a good fit here, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah. So wow. even though you don't get that, I mean, again, that word of mouth, man, just mm -hmm. it'll get out there. It'll right. get out. Again, you just never know what you're going to find or what you're going to get. That is true. That is true. A lot, a lot of times I just, like one, one of our printer suppliers, um, you, you know, um, and, and even Darkroom Booth, you know, it's just like it started off with just a phone call. Hey, this is Josh. And back then we were small, you know, we're just a little, you know, a little droplet, a little small <laughs> little fish in the ocean. You know, and, they, and, you know, we spoke to Steve over there and we're like, He's like, you know, yeah, come on by, let's talk, you know, whatever. But if I was scared and I wasn't picking up the phone and I'll send him an email and he gets 3,000 emails a day, it's not going to work, you know. Yeah. People like me and you are going to come and take that business. <laughs> All right, cool. Up the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. So has this been a good investment for you so far? Yeah, man. Um, you know, not only um, – a choice in terms of a business but um, again you hit on it at the beginning of our conversation was bringing the family closer mm -hmm. because honestly Josh we were looking for something man to run as a family mm -hmm. and, um, as I said right you know our family are the ones that run it right you know right. I do all the you know all the custom customizations and dark room right. uh, I, all the hard work and putting everything in the truck, unloading, mm -hmm. setting up. And then my daughter comes in looking beautiful and she runs awesome. the booth. Awesome. You know? And people love her because she has that yeah. care. And she's she there her. right now. Say that again. Is she there? No, she's yeah. here. She's here in the house. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> Tell I, her to say hi. Call her over here. Let me see. Let me see if I can. Let me see. <laughs> Kaylee? Kaylee, can you come here, please? Okay. She's a little busy right now. 
Oh, okay, okay. All right, no yeah. problem. Um, so, but, but, I mean, you know, and then, you know, again, like I said, you know, my boys are the ones that help yeah. me pack the truck. And then when I get home, my boys also help me unload. They've been to two events, and those guys were champs because I had them guys, you know, on, on props and stuff. You know, they were, mm -hmm. you know, they were setting up the props real nice. Right. Uh, you know, they made sure that nobody walked away with props. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that's you know? always a problem all the time. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, man, you know, and that, and, and again, back to your question, you know, is it, what, was it a good investment? Absolutely. A hundred percent, you know, cause, um, again, family and then that extra income, you know, mm -hmm. I don't want doing, uh, it work for the rest of my life. Right. You know, right. That's why I'm really hustling now and, mm -hmm. and getting people for my family. You right. Know, and they're teaching them like lessons, like morals. Um, my daughter's learning accounting now. Hard um, work. Exactly. You know, he knows what the time is to put into it. And mm -hmm. then, you know, if, if, if we purchase another booth or whatnot, you know, she'll be able to do it herself, you know, and mm -hmm. also when my boys grow up, you know, I, I felt like I've left something to them, you know, right. which, which makes me feel pretty good. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, when, like when we come up with these photo booths and we're designing and we're like, okay, you know, the features and all that. And now look, it's totally something else. Now it's like, it creates something else that we never even thought about, you know? It's like, we, we're helping you do that. that that's yeah. awesome. I love that. Yeah. Um, so, let's see. So, almost about a year now. And then, uh, so, how much have you made so far? Have you paid off your investment? Uh, very close. I'm about yeah. $1,000 uh, away. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah. And so, let's see what else I got here. Um, did you look at any other businesses whenever you were looking at? I did. I did. Yeah. Good uh, I did. Um, I, I saw several of them. Um, I reviewed several of them. I had demos with several of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I just didn't feel that connection, to be honest with you, man. Um, yeah. I didn't feel that I could pick up the phone at any given moment or do a chat or do an instant messenger uh, and say, hey, I need some help, or hey, let's just shoot the breeze. I just didn't feel that with with another company, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, you and I, you know, we we kicked it off, you know, the first time, yeah, we did. <laughs> you know, and we spoke, yeah. and uh, you answered all the questions. You know, I, I didn't feel that pressure, right? You know? so mm -hmm. There's there's pressure here um, because I was really looking for the guidance and the help rather than mm -hmm. the pressure. Hey, right. you gotta buy and do this? No. And, and, you know, you never, you know, you guys never, um, you know, call and say, hey, so, you know, what's the status? You know, are you, you going to go with us? It, it, that never happened, you know. And so that's, you know, that's key for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, so when I started doing my research and, and I was ready to purchase, um, you know, I, you know, I was looking at maybe two or three other companies. And uh, mm -hmm. I just told my wife, I said, you know what? I said, I'm going to go with Josh and team. These guys are local. You know, and I understand that, you know, PBI has, you know, clients all over, but, you know, for us, it, you know, you guys are local. I can just go over there and shoot the breeze one day, you know, go visit you guys. Yeah, you need uh, to come. You need to come. Yeah, you man. Grand opening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, man, I mean, you know, that was, you know, that was, the, you know, one of the main reasons why I went with you guys. And, uh, man, it's, it's been fun, honestly. You, you have to enjoy what you're doing, man. Because if you don't enjoy what you're doing, <laughs> man, it's going to be a long road for you. <laughs> I I used to make it a point all the time to always go get a piece of the wedding cake, you know, like if I'm doing weddings and stuff. Always, I remember this one time, huh? No, go ahead. Go. I said I remember this one time. Uh, like I thought the coast, you know, when you look over at the food, right? You're working, you're working the event. Uh, did I lose you? Let's see. No. Okay. All right. So I work in the event and then you look over at the food and like, okay, the coast is clear. I'm going to go grab something to eat, right? Walk up there, bride walks up, right? Same time. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, yeah, just, just making sure that yeah, there's enough silverware out for the guests, you know? Because you don't want to eat in front of them. But, but yeah, just always miss that. Okay. that way. Daughter, she's good at getting food. Yeah. And I'm like, how did you do that? She goes, I just went up and talked to the bride and said, Hey, remember me? I'm, you know, I'm from Treasure of Smiles. I was like, Can oh I grab God. a cake? Absolutely. And I'm like, Girl, how'd you do that? You know, <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah. Put, put extra, put extra chicken. Yeah. Yeah. 
still on that taco, man. Come on. <laughs> you know what's the worst though is when they actually bring the when they serve the food, it's not a buffet style. Cause then you gotta go to like the kitchen. Yeah, and you then, gotta go to then, the and then the silverware is a problem because they, we used to carry forks in the car. <laughs> you, you're working like, you know, two gigs a day, you get hungry, you don't have time to eat. Yeah, man. And it was like I remember try, I was like trying to get a fork one time and I was like, what the hell? Like, what's going on? Like, so I'm going to start bringing my own fork now just so I can have it to eat. <laughs> you need one of those multi-purpose tools, dude. Yeah, spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I better patent that. Real. Yeah. It is. Make that a prop. We should make that a prop. Right, right. Oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, that'd be a good thing, man. Yeah. 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 But yeah, man, yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's another perk, you know, that happens with us, you know, is, just the, you know, just the free food, and and you know, it, we're not asking for it, but man, you know, when you show that customers that customer support, you know, mm. when you're like, you know, customizing the design on the phone, mm. uh, and then you're agreeing to everything, you know, just that customer support, that epic customer mm. support, all of a sudden, man, I've, it's never failed that either a wedding planner or a bride has said, you know what, when you guys get there, come, you know, come check me out, you know, uh, mm. that you guys eat first. And I was like, yeah. 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 yeah, my daughter's like, "What are you gonna have?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what's on the menu? That's right. That's right. She was, "I like steak." Yeah, you guys got any steak? <laughs> oh my god, bring me my food first before the bride and groom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny, man. Like when I got married, it's like. Like uh, we were like in the midst of you know the rental business and like it was crazy yeah. and all that stuff and then like it was it's weird being like on the other side of being the event planner you know and it's like I was checking on all you know like the photographers and you know the caterers and making sure like hey I know what you guys do I do this every weekend this is the only weekend I'm off you know because I'm the one getting married this time you know <laughs> <laughs> so, well cool man well thank you for your time today and and sharing everything and helping others in the Facebook group. Uh, you've been a light of shining hope to everybody. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we appreciate it from the bottom of our heart. And just like how, you know, we've, it's changing your family, like the help that you provide to, you know, the customers in the group and stuff like that. And this interview, you know, can give them some hope and give them some light. If they can just put the time and energy into learning the software. It all, it's all comes down to that, right? Yeah, it does. Take your time. Take your time to learn it. That's, like you posted the other day, the... Those pictures look so good, and then the gifs, yeah, you're killing it. And then that video, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna link all that in the YouTube video and the blog post and stuff. Cool, so man. let's wrap it up. Thank you so much once again. Um, give them your website to check it out. Absolutely, guys. Uh, you can find us at www.treasureofsmilesphotobooth.com, and uh, we're in the heart of between San Antonio and Austin, and uh, crushing it, man. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Thanks, Edward. Thank you, guys.